Hey everybody, it's the Higgs here, and welcome to the first video in my new series, What's the Story with WoW? In this series, we're going to be covering lore in a tiny, tiny bit of time. It can be lore on zones, characters, dungeons, and pretty much anything else in the World of Warcraft. So let's get started with the Stockade. The stockade used to be a highly guarded prison inside Stormwind City. Following the cataclysm, all the prisoners broke out and the stockade was overtaken by its inhabitants. This overthrow happened on the watch of Warden Thelwater, who was doing his level best to both quell the uprising without killing everyone and keep the whole thing a secret from King Varian and Ren. The Warden does have some mixed emotions, though, as the most dangerous inmate in the prison is also responsible for the loss of his right eye, but we'll talk about that in a minute. The first boss in the stockade is Randolph Moloch. He's in prison for embezzlement, fraud, theft, and homicide, and he's got a twin brother named Mortimer who takes his place after you kill him. Randolph has ties to the legislative body governing Stormwind, the House of Nobles, which likely accounts for his ridiculous top hat, and he is the leader of the prison revolt, which is why he needs to die. The next boss in the stockade is Lord Overheat. After Deathwing erupted from his earthen prison, a bunch of fire elementals popped up into the swing of the stocks and killed half the prisoners. Lord Overheat is their leader. The final boss is Hogger. So you capture Hogger in Elwyn Forest and sent him here. He's the most dangerous one in the prison, and he's the leader of the rest of the gnolls in the dungeon. Now back in the day, he was one of the harder early quests in the region that you went on and became infamous for being one tricky bastard. So Blizzard gave him a bigger role than just wandering around the hills and being the target of a wanted quest and sent him to the stocks. In terms of lore, he is the chieftain of the Riverpaw pack of gnolls, which occupies southern Elwyn under Hogger, northeastern Elwyn under Fedfinnel at Stone Cairn Lake, and parts of Westfall under Sergeant Brashclaw. Now there's a pretty firm connection between the Riverpaw pack and the Defias Brotherhood, a group of former stonemasons who rebuilt Stormwind City after the Horde destroyed it in the First War, but were later ousted from the city after indirectly being responsible for the death of Tiffin Wren, King Varian's wife, and Prince Anduin's mother, although really Anixia was to blame ultimately. Once players defeat Hogger and he's sent to the stocks, Django Spothai takes over as the leader of the Knolls and is paid by Vanessa Van Cleef, daughter of the founder of the Defias Brotherhood and successor to its leadership, to attack Sentinel Hill at Westfall. For his part, Hogger bides his time in the stocks until the earthquakes following the cataclysm, and then he uses the distraction to take over his little slice of the dungeon along with his fellow Knolls, until you shove his sword in his face, and then he dies. And that's the stockade. Please like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you soon.